Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Dalton Gentry. Now, I haven't been on Strip Cover Lit for a little while now, and I know some of you have been concerned, asking where I am, what has happened. Uh, no worries by any means. It is deer season here in Missouri, and I did hit a deer with my car. I'm fine. The car was not. So that put a bit of damper in our filming plans as I do travel to Kansas City to film with Adrian, and I was without transportation for about three weeks, month. Uh, and then, of course, as many of you know, I am planning a wedding very soon. And nobody informed me that wedding planning was uh, meticulous and time-consuming and expensive. Uh, so I've been working a lot, a lot of overtime, and doing a lot of wedding planning. So that did take a little bit of my strip cover lit time away. However, I am here today, and we are going to talk a little bit today about an upcoming series that I'll be working on. Now, because we do have busy lives, this wedding is taking a lot of my time, which is important, and I think is perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of solo videos moving forward. We're going to have a lot of solo work coming out. Uh, tomorrow, of course, we will be, be returning to How to Read Books Good, a breakdown and analysis of how to read literature like a professor. Uh, but today I want to announce a different type of series. This is something very different than anything we've ever done on Strip Cover Lit before. Uh, we are not going to be analyzing and discussing the literature behind a text, uh, but more so the history and the influence behind a text. So, beginning on Thursdays moving forward, here and there, uh, we are going to be discussing and talking about The Year of Lear by James Shapiro. Now, this is a breakdown of Shakespeare in 1606, right before uh, the King Lear was published, uh, and talking about the history behind Shakespeare's works and what was going on during England uh, in the early 1600s. This is also going to be discussing the change uh, from Elizabethan England, Elizabethan England to King James's rule. Uh, and I am not a Shakespearean scholar by any means. I am a fan. We do a lot of Shakespeare on the channel. I've performed Shakespeare multiple times in theaters. I've done short films with Shakespeare. Um, so it's exciting to me, and we're going to learn a lot about the Bard himself. Uh, we're going to talk about how his work was influenced, how it developed, uh, and hopefully learn a little bit along, learn a little bit about Shakespeare along the way. Uh, so we're going to be working our way through that. I'm not really going to have a schedule for this because I'm going to be playing it by ear. Uh, I want to make sure each one of these videos is chock full of information and very informative. Uh, we're going to be discussing not only the works in questions and work in question and what's going on in Shakespeare's world, but we're also going to be taking the work, King Lear, for example. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be talking about Macbeth as well. And uh, we're going to be discussing different parts of that text and where they came from and how they developed and how important they are. So for that, I would like to tote here that I'm going to be using the complete works of William Shakespeare. This is the sixth edition, this monster book. Uh, David Bevington, the editor on this. I picked this up in college, and I was aghast that this cost me like $130 in college because it's Shakespeare. The stuff's been around forever. You can find it on the internet. Uh, but this text is phenomenal. Not only does it have the full and complete works of Shakespeare, but it also has a lot of supplementary information that is incredibly, incredibly handy, uh, incredibly useful. So we're probably going to be referencing that book a lot. We are going to be talking considerably about the Year of Lear, because that is the book we're discussing. So you're probably going to want a copy of this one here, as opposed to the complete works of Shakespeare. Though, if you do get a chance to pick up this book, definitely, by all means, it is wonderful. So, that is what we are going to be doing on Thursdays in Thursdays, on Thursdays, in Strip Cover Lit. Uh, English is just beyond me today. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. Thursday, Strip Cover Lit, Year of Lear, talking about Shakespeare, talking about how Shakespeare developed, how King Lear developed, and how that became an influential thing. I, and I've learned a lot so far, just my little bit of reading from this book already. A lot of things are really surprising to me, and it's, it's really impressive that we have the works that we do today, uh, because we almost didn't. And we're going to talk about that. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a like as well. I am back. I didn't go anywhere. Sorry for the freak out. And please join us tomorrow as we delve back into how to read literature like a professor. Uh, we're going to continue that series almost halfway through it now. We're going to talk about how we can make you read better. And as always, if you'd like to help us create more great content like this here on Strip Cover Lit, there is a link as always to our Patreon to be found in the description below.